In this video, I'll help you write your very first linear regression project in Python. If you need a quick overview of linear regression, make sure you watch our video that covers introduction to regression. If you want to experiment with the code as you follow along, make sure you open the project associated with this video series, then navigate to the regression folder, then the tools folder, and then click on the empty notebook. Activate the virtual environment and make sure it's selected in the notebook. I encourage you to add the code in this video to the notebook, run it, and play around with any other commands you can think of. That's really the best way to learn. We'll be using the Diabetes dataset, which is a toy dataset built into Scikit-Learn for learning purposes. Let's get familiar with it. You can see here that the dataset has 442 data points, or rows, each corresponding to a patient that has diabetes. The first 10 attributes, or columns, of this dataset correspond to age, sex, BMI, and other measurements for each of those patients. And the 11th column contains a numerical measure of disease progression after one year. Here's one way to visualize this data. Our goal for the simple project is to input a patient's BMI and to predict the disease progression for that patient after one year. Because the value we want to predict is numeric, we can use linear regression for this scenario. To load our dataset, we can use the datasets.loaddiabetes method from scikit-learn. Let's look at its documentation. We'll set return x, y to true because we want a tuple containing the independent variables x, such as age, sex, BMI, as well as the dependent variable y, which is the measure of the disease. We'll keep the defaults for the other two parameters, which means we'll get the data as NumPy arrays and scikit-learn will, will automatically normalize them. Let's run the cell. The load diabetes method returns two NumPy arrays, one for x and another for y. Printing the shape of x confirms that we have 442 data points with 10 attributes each. And printing the first row gives us all the attribute values for our first patient. For this exercise, we want our x to contain just the BMI for the patients. We saw earlier that the BMI is the attribute with index 2. We can extract the column with index 2 to get a 1D array with the BMI data. We then use NumPy's reshape method to convert to a 2D array, which we need to train the regression model. Next, we'll split our data into training and test datasets. We'll use the training dataset to train our linear regression model to come up with the right predictions. And we'll use the test dataset to see how well the model can predict results for data not seen during training. We use two thirds of the data for training and one third for testing by specifying the test size parameter. We're now ready to create our linear regression model and to train it using the training data. And now that the model is trained, we can make a prediction using the test data. We give it the BMI of several patients in X test, and we get back predictions for the disease progress in Y pred. How good are our predictions? Let's use matplotlib to find out. In this graph, the actual Y test disease progress is shown in black, and our prediction Y pred is in blue. As you can see, our predictions aren't 100% accurate every time, but they do represent the general trend of the data. In our next episode, we'll talk about how to analyze and clean data. I'll see you soon.